Hey everyone and welcome to a new video. This time around I'm going to be doing a desk tour and also a what is in my pencil case because I've been editing Stone Soul but I feel like there's only so many times I can upload footage of me reading and changing what's in the file and then commenting on my own writing and I want to keep uploading videos and I've been meaning to do a desk tour for a while now. Not that I think I have, you know, that cool of a setup. It's it's my setup and, you know, I like that, but <laughs> it's not like it's like, you know, a super awesome setup. Not yet, at least. Maybe one day. Before I get into it, I guess I could talk a little bit about what's going on writing-wise. Um, I finished editing chapter 14 this morning of 40. So I have a long way to go, but I'm going to start taking my laptop to work with me and trying to edit on my breaks. I took it today, but I was like too awkward to pull it out on my breaks and I hadn't taken any food. So I actually had to like on my lunch break, I was so hungry. So I just had to run out to the store to get something to eat anyway. So didn't really have much time when I got back. Like I had just enough time to eat basically. And I got, I got my fan, fan art. I got the artwork I commissioned of my main character, Shyla, and it looks awesome. I looked at it and I was just like, this is her, like, this, like, he captured her perfectly. And I messaged him to thank him again and tell him how much I loved it. And I said, my only question is, like, when can I, like, you know, when can I order another one from you? And he said, I'm available right now. I was like, bet. And, um, so I ordered, I commissioned, um, him for Quinlan, who is... Shiloh's like love interest throughout the trilogy and I'm really really excited to see how that turns out. Um, I haven't gotten the sketch yet, I just ordered that one like yesterday or the day before, but I can't wait for the sketch and I can't wait for the finished product. I don't think I'm gonna share the artwork just yet. I might wait until I have both her and Quinlan and then share them together I guess. And I'll be sharing them on, like, definitely my Instagram, most likely my Facebook, and probably my Twitter. And I have those linked down below in the description if you want to follow me on there, you know. <laughs> and when I get paid again, I will probably be commissioning Darrow, who is my antagonist throughout the trilogy. And I'm really excited to see him because in my head he's very clear. Like, they're all clear, but he's, like, the clearest. I love my antagonist. <laughs> and then, um, this other character, who's, like, the leader of the White Witches, and I don't know. I just want her. I think I have, like, eight characters I want to get art of, but four that I definitely want art of for now. So I think I'll just leave it at the four, I guess. And, uh, this, in my story, in book two, Shyla gets... An enchanted necklace that ends up looking like this just because I wanted something simple. It is a sodalite pendant. I assume I'm saying that right. And it has a lot of properties in terms of like clairvoyance and divination and just I guess I want to say like mental powers if that makes sense. And so that kind of has a meaning in book two and I just thought it would be cool to have one and I actually have a few. I bought a bunch of the pendants and I bought a bunch of chains and I'm going to be doing like a giveaway when book two is ready to come out. I think I'll do like half will just be in a giveaway and the other half I might sell in bundles like with a signed copy of the book. I'm not sure yet. Still deciding. I don't know. I just like wearing it like it's like um, I guess motivation and I look down at it. God my hair looks weird. I look down at it and it's just like I don't know. It's cool. We're trying a new thing with the cat and like in the food because he's just all he does is eat and I don't want him to get you know he's already overweight I don't want him to become obese so we're trying to put him on a diet I guess and limit when he eats because it used to be I just wanted him happy and I left a food bowl out for him 24 7 but now we're taking to putting his food bowl up and giving it to him like at certain times like you know breakfast we leave it out while we're at work and then we put it up and then dinner time and we leave it out when we're asleep so it doesn't bother us. Anyway, that's about it on like, I guess the 
updating front because I'm gonna jump into my desk tour and I hope that you are excited. Actually, no I don't because I don't want you to be let down when you see that I actually don't have that special of a space. <laughs> so I'm just gonna kind of go, I guess, from left to right. I've never done a desk tour before, but uh, I'm gonna do my best for you. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best. So first of all, this is essentially my area. And this is the pen case I will be showing you. This is my journal. It used to be a bullet journal, but I have found that I just can't keep up with a bullet journal. So now it's just strictly journaling when I feel like it. And I like to keep it here. I don't know why. <laughs> I used, this was like um, a teddy bear that I got for our first Valentine's Day. And I just use it to hold my charger up. I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> it's stupid, I know. My little lamp. This is like my favorite accessory. It's a magnetic bookmark. Got it from Jet Pens. And I usually just use it in like whatever I'm writing currently to keep pla keep my place. You know, fun little things, binder clip, charger thing, you know, the huge. My laptop with some stickers that I recently got. The important things, you know, Totoro, Space Mom, Twerp. They didn't have any cool Proto Men stickers or else there'd probably be one on here too. Isn't that Totoro so cute? Ugh, I love it. Um, this. These are like four separate things. I got them on Amazon, I think for like 13 bucks. I typed in like either pen organizer, pen caddy, whatever. And it's just really handy like when I need to get a specific color I don't have to dig around in a pen case you know post-its a little more a little more more magnetic bookmarks a little teddy bear because I have a thing for teddy bears I'm sure that much was obvious he's like my little writing totem you know um, got me a candle from Bath and Body Works the stress relief one as you can see it's very burned <laughs> I'm using this little star stamp in my writer's journal to keep track of my editing. So I have some ink as well. <laughs> this is my, like, I guess you could call it my Gargoyles of Craven, like, Bible. It has, like, character information, lore, a timeline, and when I'm editing, I put my notes in here. And then my writing journal with, you know with my autographs, which I'm still in love with. <laughs> Get my awesome mouse pad, also from Amazon. I am an Amazon-aholic. And this is a coaster I made this weekend, actually, this past weekend, out of clay. Got like a little cork thing to put on the bottom of it. And um, it's just some, some Sculpey clay and with some glaze on it. Um, I made a handful. I kind of burnt some of them, but it was my first time. I plan on making more, and you know, it came out alright, and it does its job, so I'm happy. <laughs> In case you haven't noticed, I have bad lips. This is like the only stuff that seems to help, so hey, if you have dry or chapped lips, you should try this, for sure. And then this is kind of like, extra stuff. You don't get to see what's in these drawers, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's like, just my junk drawers. Um, these are, like, planner stickers and, whoops, post-it notes and sticky notes and stuff. Um, just some photo paper that I plan to use soon. These are erasers that I found in the Target dollar spot. I'm obsessed with Star Wars, it's a curse. These are like the Tombow dual brush uh, markers, but they're the Artist Loft, which is like Michael's brand, and they're significantly cheaper. I cannot afford Tombow, so I don't even try. More stickers. These are like sticker flakes and loose stickers. Birth control, you don't need to see that. I have some stencils and a ruler that's like bullet journal supplies, basically. Not that I do that anymore. Nail polish collection. I don't have a lot. And then in here is where I keep like this. That's like a little desk fan, but like, you know, notebooks that are written in that maybe have stuff I want to save. Um, some empty notebooks and a stack of paper. 
and more empty notebooks and stacks of paper. <laughs> and up here, this is just my like laptop case and then my mechanical keyboard and the secret stash to two lightsabers that do work. You know. And, you know, because like I said, I'm obsessed with Star Wars. That's about it. Wow, that was five minutes long. I thought it might take a little longer to go through the stuff on my desk and next to my desk, but it did not. <laughs> wow, I suck. And my pen case is very small, so there's not going to be a whole lot of substance to that either, but let's get into it. So this is the Leakate Lab Smart Fit Act Act, which means all active action. Um, I got it in navy, even though navy is not like a favorite color or anything, but I don't know, it just called to me. I wanted something um, small and like flat so that I could just throw it in my bag and it wouldn't take up a lot of space. And I don't use like a lot of pens when I write, so it's the perfect size. Um, I'm gonna just go left to right, that seems to be, you know, what I'm good at. Also, excuse my awful nail polish, I gotta redo that. I have, um, these are Papermate flares. The colors were called like Candy Pop and I just really loved them. And I use these for like color coding and note taking in my writing journal. And I don't know, there's like a perfect amount of them that they fit in here just right. And they're ultra fine, so I love the way they write. It's, it's pretty cool. <laughs> this is an eraser, believe it or not. It is called the Slendy Plus, and I wanted something, much like my pencil case, I wanted something flat that wouldn't take up a lot of space, and this is pretty cool. You can kind of adjust, you know, how much eraser you want out, and then just lock it into place. And you can buy refills, which I have a few, but I rarely use pencils, so I haven't had to refill it. <laughs> and then we have, um, this is... Um, I think it's a Pilot fountain pen. Oh, does it say it? Yeah, Pilot. Got it on Jet Pens. I love Jet Pens, it's my favorite site. And it has this interesting, like, ergonomic, like, grip to it. And I got it in the extra fine. I probably would have liked it more if it was just fine. But I like it. It's sometimes, you know, you just want to write with a fountain pen. Um,. Pilot Super Gel 0.5 in black ink. I typically only write in black ink unless I'm like, you know, color coding or, you know, drawing, stuff like that, making it pretty. I'll use colors. A Pilot Juice 0.5 black ink, as usual. <laughs> and a Zebra Sarasa Clip, which I recommend both of these pens. They don't dry super fast, but they write amazingly. And then the only pencil I really like to use is a Zebra Delgard, and this is a special edition that has my best friend Totoro on it. Super cute. They had a Kiki's Delivery Service one as well, and it was pink, so I wanted that one more because pink is my favorite color. But I'm going to be honest, and you all can, you know, judge me if you want. I've never seen Kiki's Delivery Service, and that probably makes me a bad Ghibli fan, I know, but... I mean, I never said I was a good Ghibli fan. I've always said I'm a Totoro fan, you know? I have seen, you know, Spirited Away, Ponyo, but Kiki's Delivery Service and Princess Mononoke, I think, are the only ones I haven't seen. And I'm not against them. Like, I'll, I'd watch them. It's just I haven't gone out of my way to watch them, I guess. I should, because Kiki's Delivery Service looks freaking adorable. You know, there's a cat, and, you know, that's enough for me. <laughs> So that was it. That was my desk tour and what's in my pen case. And you know, I thought I thought it would be kind of cool and then I did it and I feel really bad because I'm so boring. How do y'all watch me? I'm so boring. But I don't know. It's I like videos like this, like the whole pen, what's what's in my pen case or like what's in my writing bag. Like those are like some of my favorite videos for some reason. I don't know. It's just it's always interesting to see, I guess how other writers operate. I hope, you know, you got something out of this video, even if it's just 
the knowledge that I am a terrible Ghibli fan and have never seen two of like his most acclaimed movies, I guess. I actually, I have to go cook dinner. We're doing grilled cheese tonight. You know, living the high life. And then I want to do some editing tonight. And I gotta get this footage on my computer at the very least to edit this. <laughs> I guess I don't really have anything else to say. I had so much more to say, like, when I was writing every day for Camp Nano, but now it's like even if I, you know, try and chisel away every day at my editing, I feel like it's just boring to other people. Like, I'm enjoying it because, excuse me, I'm falling in love with my characters again and making the story better, but it's hard for me to translate that into an actual interesting video because you're not reading the story so you're not seeing what I'm seeing, you know, so. I don't know, making videos is hard and I just, I, I like doing it and I like you guys so I want to keep doing it, but I just, I'm at a loss of like what kinds of videos to make, I guess. It's weird. It's weird and it's because I'm not used to sharing anything about my writing or my process with other people so I don't really know what to talk about. If you liked this video, thumbs up would be awesome. If not, I understand. Drop me a comment down below. Like, what's your desk look like? Are you an organized person? Are you, like, totally chaotic? Um, what's in your pen case? Do you have a pen case? Or do you just write with, like, are you the type of person that, you know, you can just grab any kind of writing utensil and start writing and you're fine? Like, I need, for some reason, I have become really, like, picky. Almost, uh, what's the word? Not pretentious, but I've become really picky with my writing stuff. I don't know why. Ever since I discovered jet pens, it's like when I'm writing, I have to be using, like, a fancy pen. It's... it's bad. <laughs> um, so yeah, drop me a comment down below. Let's be friends. Follow me on any of my social medias. I, like, love new writer friends, I swear. And if you want, you can subscribe to me and see more rambling videos about what a boring person I am. I hope you liked this video, whatever my next one is, you know, I'll see you there. And, you know, thank you for watching.